Welcome to my channel, folks. Today we're going to do a different kind of video. Uh, I have been looking into security systems for quite some time. I've actually had uh, a real link, I believe, which ran off of the wife or the internet, actually. But I could only pick from a few providers for a data-only card, so it didn't work here. And from what I hear, the Wi-Fi type, you know, they're not 100% reliable. So uh, I decided to go with a wired system and I've researched this system. Uh, I've watched videos of this system being installed and what it can do. And I think this is what we're going with. So tomorrow I'm gonna, I'm gonna open the box, show you everything that's in here. I don't know anything about the system yet other than what I've watched and read. I'm gonna open the box, we're gonna pull out the parts, uh, all the components that go with it. And then I'm gonna read the manual overnight and tomorrow we're going to get out and install on these cameras so let's go all right let's get that off now this is a 4k camera it has 4k cameras that see at night i believe and uh comes with eight cameras that's probably a little more than i need but they will be put to use as you know, I'm doing the build right now. The weather has just been crazy hot. Uh, but I want to get this done. Alright, what do we got here? Is that another box, big box inside of a... <laughs> Let's do it the easy way. Yeah, it's another big box inside a box. Okay. I imagine that was... Package that way for shipping so it wouldn't get damaged. Okay, now we can see. Oh, get out of there. All right, here we are. The Onwoat Security NVR Kit. Let's just tear into this bad boy see what we got uh, as you know my cabin only has it's got the two windows up front one window in the kitchen so if I hear and I live on a highway so if I hear what sounds like somebody's pulling in the driveway I gotta get up run to the window look and usually there's nothing so I want to mount a camera going this way and this way where I can see my driveway anybody pulling up and I believe this is going to allow me to do that. All right, right off the bat, we got the cameras. There are eight of these. Tell you what, let me get everything out, lay it on the table, and we'll go over it one at a time. Let me just set this box on the ground. I imagine that's the system. One of these cameras are 4K. That's six and two more. All right, we've got the uh, user's guide. All the cables. That looks. It looks like they come in 60 foot. Yeah, so all 60 foot. You know what, I'm just going to show you these, but there seems to be eight of these as well. 60 foot cables that will connect to the cameras and then also connect to the system. Alright, so we've got the eight cameras. Let's open one of these up. Don't want to lose it. comes with some screws. Attachments. Let's get a peek at this camera. And, and now they have some good weight to them, so I usually relate anything that's really light is cheap. But uh, these got some really good weight. They feel like they're well made. Yeah, I probably shouldn't do anything until I've read about them. I do know this part comes off here. 
uh, and you would just place your cameras wherever you need it. I don't want to, I don't want to mess with anything until, uh, until I've read about it. <laughs> All right. So we got eight of these. Let's open up this box from the system. Let's get these back in there. And I've had this quite a while, but with the heat, I haven't been able to do anything, and it's still hot, but I'm just going to go ahead and try to do it. It's going to, one of the things I don't like about not having windows is if UPS or FedEx are coming, I can't have time, if I, if in the summer when I've got all the fans and air conditioners blowing, I don't hear them. And I'm not exactly, I don't exactly have the easiest place to come in. All right. There is the, I guess you would call it the console, power cords. Now this will actually hook up to a 4K smart TV, such as I got back here, or a 4K monitor. I have one over there. I am not going to say where I'm going to place this, but you don't probably want this out where anybody can, you know, if somebody does get in your house, then they take this, you got nothing. All right, so we got all the plug-ins for the cameras, power, looks like it has HDMI, that'll probably go to the, to the uh, television. It's also got the VGA if you wanted to hook it up to a computer monitor. It's also got audio in, audio out. Uh, I don't know what that is. I will read about it. It's got a USB port. And uh, that thingy. So that's pretty much all it is. Not a whole lot of buttons. Uh, I don't know if this flips down or does anything. No. But uh, when I do the install... I will already have the knowledge up here about everything it does and you can follow along I will also have a link at the end of the video where you may purchase this and I, I don't know if there's a discount but I do have the link and I believe there is all right so let me get this situated I'll be back tomorrow morning same video as you're watching now but for me it'll be the next day and we will start installing these cameras. See if we can have this thing operational by tomorrow afternoon before it gets hot. All right. All right. Before I go through the trouble of drilling holes in the house, all the way around the house, I'm actually going to set these cameras up. I want to make sure the thing works. I want to check it out, get familiar with it. Uh, what it comes with, you get the power cord. Also has some hardware if you need it for the installing the cameras. You know, that's got the uh, deals in here for sheetrock. It comes with a mouse to control the unit. Uh, here's the, uh, the screws it comes with if you're going to put that into sheetrock. Which, <laughs> yeah, you know me with sheetrock. I don't have any. And this is a cap that goes on. If you're going to install the cameras outside where the cameras connect, it will, it's a weatherproofing. Uh, I'll show you that when I do the outside camera. So right now, I'm going to run these two cameras out. I'm going to take one out to my screen porch area. I'm going to put one in the dog apartment. And I might set one up on the loft inside the cabin for now. And I'm going to take a couple of them outside. And we're going to test turn this system on get everything hooked up I have downloaded the app on my phone uh, this it comes with the user manual with nice color pictures it explains tells you where to go and download uh, I also downloaded the uh, app for my computer because this will be hooked into my computer monitor so the system also comes with a warranty card, and you can get phone support. Uh, you have live chat or by email. 
Let me see. The warranty. One year warranty. Okay. So, let me get all this hooked up. These are very simple. Each camera. This actually has ports for 16 cameras. Well, I only this system only came with 8. And that's more than enough that I will need. I do not have it plugged in or anything. I'm just going to show you. It's very simple. Just plug it in. Uh, I believe this is the Ethernet cable. We're going to be running the HDMI cable. And there's also a USB port 3. There's also one in the front. You can actually put thumb drives in here, download recorded data. Uh, say you have an intruder and you wanted to show the police, well, you could take that and show them. Uh, so we're going to get these cameras set up. Now, once I do this, at the end of this video, you will see the cameras actually set up where I want them. So we're going to do this for now to get through this part and show you how simple or how difficult this is. And I haven't done it yet. I will tell you it's going to be a little bit time consuming. Especially if you want the cables well hidden and things like that. But the features that this unit has, this particular system has, is unbelievable. Uh, 4K, beautiful picture. Uh, you can actually block out, say, a flagpole. If you don't want that to, you can, you know, because that will activate the recording. So you don't want to eat up your hard drive with that. You can actually grid that out and other, you know, just focus on one spot you want to record on. So that's a nice feature. It it, it has human trap, tra oh, human tracking. It will actually recognize a human being, and you know there'll be a little red square box, and it'll track that human until it is out of all the camera's ranges. All right, well, let me get this thing set up. I've got a little bit of work to do, and at the end of the video, I will show you how to install the cameras, and we will show you the final result. All right, I've got three cameras installed just for today. Tomorrow morning, I will go install the rest of them, and you will see every one of them operational. A uh, little bit of a learning curve to putting them on there's a certain way they have to go figured it out but as you can see right here we got one in the dog apartment there's Lily you can see the whole room there's Waldo standing in the drinking bowl and there goes Miss Rooster this one's facing at my front door yeah. and this one is in the screened in porch area uh, it's in a temporary location as with this one because these rooms are not completed I'm in the middle of this build but I want to get this thing installed and I have uh, what have I got? five more cameras to install so this one will possibly be I'm gonna put one that faces that on my driveway I can put one, two on facing the north side of the cabin. I'm going to put one on the south side as well as the east and west. So, pretty cool. So, let me play with this so I can show you all the features. And it's pretty cool from what I can see. Let me see. You can just double click on one. Look at that. Look at that picture. Wow. That is 4K. It is plugged into a 4K monitor, so that should be 4K. I can keep an eye on these little buggers now, yeah. Sure can. All right. Let me see that. See, this is why I got to play around with it, guys. And it even has audio. I don't know if I've got that hooked up. Okay. Well, we're going to resume tomorrow when I get all this set up. All right. It's the next day. We're going to install the rest of the cameras. I got five cameras left to install. Uh, then we're going to hook them up and I'm going to show you exactly how it is. Now, these are what we have right now. We've got three cameras installed. Look at that. There's Waldo frog dogging in the dog apartment. And there's Lily, the screened in porch, and the living room. So we've got these five left to do. Let's get them done. Not a fan of drilling holes in my cabin, but this camera is probably the most important one. I've already drilled it on the outside. 
Cedar, you got to be careful not to get this drill bit in there too hot or you're in trouble. You get a fire in there. Uh -uh. What I'm doing now is water this hole out big enough to get that ink in there. I'm going to have to fish that through there with some piece of wire. All right, guys, I'm going to install the camera. Uh, first thing you got to do is remove this cover. And then right here, there is a screw. And I just loosen that up. And that allows you to turn this any way. You can turn the camera any way you need. And when we get up there, we can adjust it. Uh, I believe the top or the dot there goes, uh, I believe that goes on the bottom. So we can orient this any way we need it. Let me get it set. Let me get it up there and then we'll get it in. And uh, there we go. All right, I've plugged in the ethernet cable to the camera and I want this covered. So I'm just gonna find about where I want this. We'll, we'll worry about aiming it here in a minute. I'm just using some quarter inch or inch and a quarter deck screws. I'm going into wood and there are three screw holes that you use I was gonna put two cameras in the front of the house but it isn't necessary that's good and tight bit on the lens there all right now remember I showed you that set screw now we're gonna try to I can't remember if that dot goes on the top or the bottom we want to situate it we'll go ahead and plug it into the system and then we'll see what needs adjusted uh, let's put it start off on the bottom and I want it aimed out this way somewhat all right, let's let's start there and see where that goes and the cover is right here we'll put that on after we go determine what the best angle for this is all right i got the wire run to the system the nvr and we're going to plug this in make this camera number four all right i already have the system open we got all right now you see the camera I just installed outside uh, I want to angle that down a little more and turn it towards the driveway right here a little more uh, I'm going to have another camera on the side that will also look down that way, but I'd kind of like to get on the porch a little more if I can. If not, I want it down a little more. So let me go out there and adjust that, and I'll be back. All right, I went and adjusted it some more. You can see now the gate, all my junk <laughs> needs to go cross street to the dumpster. So anyway, I can see somebody coming up the driveway, and if I miss that, I can see if they come up on the porch uh, you can go back and see who it was and I will get into later we will you can grid out this flag because this flag is going to set it off and I can set it to where it will only detect humans but it will still record everything but it just won't set off uh, the alert all right I'm gonna go out and put the cover back on and call this one good and now all I got to do is take this cover and just twist it on and this camera is finished. Sorry about the loud truck.
It never fails. All right, there is the sixth camera. It is facing due south, right over my garden area. That's exactly where I want it. Because when I put the cameras on the west side of the house, they will cover what this doesn't over here in this corner. I'm going to have one facing back that towards that corner of the land and another one towards the front of it. So anything that comes through there, I'll be able to see. Uh, hopefully I'll get to catch that bear that I've been failing to catch. And uh, so now we can see. We've got all the cameras here. I can click on each one of them. There's my under construction screen patio. You just double click again. I want to go look at the porch. There it is. Double click again. There's my truck. There's the shed. I can see the chicken house. I can see the Libby's area. Uh, let's see what else we got. The living room with the cables <laughs> running through everywhere. Now I'm installing this and I'm going to tuck the cables and get them all neatly done afterwards. So. And anyway, uh, I think it's pretty cool. And it is dark in this room right here, guys. This is even late last night. I went in, turned the lights out. You can see them just like this. It has the infrared night cameras in it. Very nice. You can see Lily walking around. Waldo likes to put his head under there. Don't know why. Yeah, there we have it. So that's what we got there. Now let me show you some of the other features here. I gotta study up on them. Alright, so now I got six cameras hooked up. The other two I'm not hooking up today, uh, but I will show you on these. Okay, a nice feature is say I want to see if anything happened back here last night. So I'm gonna go on this, I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna go to playback. Now these little red lines right here represent when there was some activity. I've already looked at that one. There was nothing. But actually, I believe that one, there was a bug that, that walked all the way across. Uh, and it could be this tarp out here or whatever. So, let's go back. I know I was out there. Let's hover over. And you can just slide this thing until you see something. You know, catch your eye. Ain't doing it now. I was in there a minute ago. All right, let's just let it play. There I am. See the red dot? It detects a human. There's my royal chubbiness right there. Until I get out of the picture, it's tracking me. So that makes it easy. You just look for these red dots and say, "Huh, what's going on?" Okay. Let me scroll back a little bit. Watch. I believe I came back to get a drill bit to put the cameras on. And I know I'm in this one. Let me see. What it looks like at midnight. Okay. Very well lit up. There's no doubt you can tell what things are. And you can zoom in on those things, I believe. Let me see. And I'm learning this. Let's see, zoom. It's got all these kind of controls, and I'm still learning this. I had I've already done it. After I do this several times, I'll be good. But you can zoom in and anything that you see in the view. Alright, here's the feature. As you can see, I've it has a grid. This is what could trigger the uh, system to alert you and I have the flag I took the grids away let's take a few more because there's nothing going to be happening up top there that will concern me I also unchecked took the boxes away from where the road goes by because I don't want cars uh, tripping it off every time so that's a good feature there uh, there's a lot more of this I have to learn but it has just about everything you can think of human i've got this enabled for human detections of humans and you can do it human in a vehicle and i do have that enabled you can check what it what you want it to do make a buzzer send you an email a pop-up window 
it just depends on your lifestyle and how often you're home uh, but this thing is just loaded with all kinds of goodies so anyway uh, I've got to learn this some more now I downloaded the it's called the guard uh, blah, 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 guard something let me see on my phone well it's the let me look on the it's a guard it's the app that you download I messed up I'm gonna have to call support because now I can log I can't log in with either one of them but I can log in on the unit itself so I'm gonna have to call support get that situated I, I made a mess of it and that was my fault I didn't read the instructions <laughs> go figure I didn't properly read the instructions so I didn't get it done so that's pretty much it guys I so far I'm super impressed I mean I'm super impressed uh, it's got everything I need and if I'm gonna put a link to it below in the description if you're inter interested they have it on Amazon I believe this set that I got now was 850 I believe it's less than that now don't quote me on it I'll put the link but I believe it's well worth every penny all right guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe give me a like give me an unlike I don't care happy trails <laughs>